Hey, how's it going everybody? Jake here and today we're opening up the brand new Toxtricity V-Box and seeing if it's worth it. This is a fan favorite Pokemon in Sword and Shield and I can totally understand why because it's honestly really cool inside of the box. You get one foil promo card featuring, featuring Toxtricity V, an oversized promo, and four booster packs as well as a promo code for this card on the online game so pretty cool just in case we don't get anything good inside of our pack opening let's also throw in a three pack blister and see what we get from that as well right away i see something that's really cool about this box is that we don't have xy era packs in this set anymore thank goodness if i were to open up xy steam siege or xy evolutions in a 2020 sword and shield pack i would be pretty disappointed here we see the jumbo toxicity v card i always keep one of these cards inside of my collection so i really have a nice little collection of jumbo cards now and surprisingly these cards do get more expensive over time as this is the only way to get one is from one of these boxes and these boxes usually have one shipment and there's usually not a lot of reprint reprints when it comes to the cool promo box oh my goodness what is this an xy evolutions i was lied to there are xy packs inside of sword and shield boxes that's a little bit disappointing but i'll tell you what xy evolutions is surprisingly turning a new leaf on me i'm really enjoying this set now and I'm actually trying to collect all the cards in XY Evolutions. So that'd be really cool to see if I can get anything cool from that. We got two Sword and Shield packs from the latest set. About time, honestly. There is the promo code card for the Toxtricity V-Box. As well as a Cosmic Eclipse pack. There is the beautiful Toxtricity V card that you can get inside of this box. This is a Sword and Shield promo card, number 17, so still very early, early on in Sword and Shield set. The card looks really nice. I love the vibrantness. I would wish it was textured. It's not. It's just on a flat surface. There's no like ridges on it, but still a really nice card. This is an actually pretty immaculate copy. Yeah, but I will probably just leave this one up. I usually don't send newer cards into PSA for grading, but still a really cool card to have in my collection. On to the pack. A Charizard card from XY Evolutions would be really cool. This set, if you didn't know, is the most popular set of all times. This card, uh, the set has outsold every other Pokemon set in history. So really cool concept one two three to the front uh, there's no energy in the back of these ones but we do have a haunter an energy retrieval kakuna ooh, an energy voltorb charmander diglett ghastly metapod as our holographic reverse little peek on the back oh man that's a really really crazy border what card could this be i think this might be a secret rare or a hyper rare card and it is Mega Blast Toys EX. I just got a PSA graded version of this exact card and here it is again. Whoa! Starting right off with a bang Mega Blast Toys EX. This is why I'm starting to enjoy XY Evolutions because you can get some amazing cards that you just don't see in 2020 anymore. So this is a really cool card to get. You can see how textured it is. Got that amazing Japanese pop-out art right on the front. Really cool card. Uh, the Mega uh, Charizard EX is a super expensive card from XY Evolution. Even though there's been a bajillion uh, XY Evolution pack opening, but that's really cool. I'm gonna put that card right in the back and let's move on to Cosmic Eclipse. Another great set. Uh, the largest set of Pokemon cards ever released was Cosmic Eclipse with over like 260 cards inside of the set. And we got ourselves red and blue tag teams. Also the only set with tag team supporter cards makes it a very unique set. Dragonium Z, Dusclops, Slugma, Chinchow, Cosmog, Pancham, Drober, 
Oh my goodness, check that out guys. Secret card coughing 243 out of 236 right there it says on the bottom. I don't have this card yet. I have almost all of the full art trainer cards with um, Pokemon in them and this is one that I was missing. Wow, that is so cool. Were all the other ones holographic or just this one? Man, this has been an amazing box and in the back, Guzzlord Holographic Rare, a great card as well. This has been an amazing box. How can I not recommend it now after pulls like that? So the real test will be the Sword and Shield packs. We got five, uh, five Sword and Shield packs to go through with our three pack blisters to come as well. So let's see if we can get something cool. Sword and Shield has been really mind blowing as well because this set has some amazing cards, some really rare cards some really powerful cards. It just has everything that I would want in some um, new Pokemon card set. So, and also it's got new Pokemon. How can I not enjoy it? As well as fan favorites like Goldeen, Diglett, Team Yell Grunt Holographic Reverse. That's really neat. And in the back, another Holographic Rare and one I haven't pulled yet. Bowl 10, oh man. This box is delivering in every way I can imagine. Check out those new holographic patterns, the ridges, the pattern. Oh man, that is so cool. So I believe the reason why they added this was to prevent uh, sort of curving. When you have this uh, card uh, with the ridges like this, it really helps the holographic wear from curving. So nice job on Pokemon for doing that. On to our final pack from the Toxtricity V box. This has been an amazing pack opening. I haven't opened packs in like a week, so I'm really enjoying getting back into the game. This has been a lot of fun. Love opening up packs for you guys. We got Aurora Energy, Ferrothorn, Crushing Hammer, Ball Toy, Wooloo, a fan favorite as well, Joltik, Slandit, Globopus, Sobble as our holographic reverse, and in the back, Drapion as our rare. Before our final verdict, I say we open up the Galarian Ponyta three pack blister pack as well and give us ourselves a final verdict on this set. But that that Toxtricity box was an A plus in my, uh, in my opinion. That was really well. Three holographics or better inside of a box is way more than you can ever expect on average. We got three more sword and shield packs to open, so let's get right on to it. Time is money. Why spend time? Uh, why spend time talking when we can open, be opening up packs where the real fun is? Three to the front, toss that energy, and we got ourselves Corvus Squire, Break Ball, Potion, Ponyard, Silizipede, Yamper, Globopus, Codney. Crow Gunk as our holographic reverse and Claydol as our rare. So far, so good. Let's move on to the next pack. Still looking for that Zacian V secret rare, hyper rare card. That's gonna be a real pain to get. I already got the regular version of the Zacian V card and it kind of blows my mind that that card was $30 of value. So that's really, really cool that you can get just like easy V cards that are really, really nice and expensive. We got Pokemon Center Lady, Energy Retrieval, Feral Thorn, Chinchou again, Solicipede again, Yamper again, Global Plus again, Connie again, man, Deja Vu or what, Silicobra Holographic Reverse, and Inteleon as our rare. Inteleon is a really nice card as well, even the non-holographic rare version. I suppose we can't complain about not getting any crazy pull from this three pack blister when the Toxtricity V box just was mind blowingly great. Let's move on to our final pack. There's the code card we do. One, two, three to the front. Let's toss that energy. Got ourselves another Pharaoh Thorn, Raboot. So something different. Lumberry, Score Bunny, of course. Sinistee, Maractus. Ooh, Pikachu, Glorian Meow, Sandaconda as our holographic reverse. There is going to be a V version of Sandaconda in the upcoming set. Can't wait to see that. And on the back, Cramorant as our rare. Ah, what a goofy card. Always glad to see Cramorant in a pack. 
Okay, everybody, that's the end of our video. What's the final verdict on Toxtricity V as a box that you should pick up? I actually think I highly recommend this one. This is a really cool card. If you are a fan of Toxtricity, and you probably are, as a lot of people have a fan favorite in Toxtricity V, I would highly recommend picking up this box. If not, that's totally cool as well. This is a card that I really enjoy to have and I'm glad to see it inside of my collection so I'm going to sleeve it up as well as the Mega Blast Toys EX, the Coughing Secret Rare card and all the holographic rares that we got in today's pack opening. It's been a real blast. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.